Hi, my name's Chris Harper. I'm on the final day of my five day hike from Port St. John's to Coffee Bay. I've met some amazing people. I've seen some incredible sights. To those of you that want to do this hike, my suggestion is skip to the final video where I explain what to take and what not to take. I've made a lot of mistakes and just skip to the final video see what you need to bring along and rather just come and experience it for yourself but for the rest of you enjoy the video Uh, my name is Jimmy Salani. I'm working for Wild Tours and uh, we're doing the Boston Jones to Coffee Bay hike. It starts from Second Beach. It's plus mana 60Ks and it's five days, four nights. Uh, it's a beautiful area. Hopefully, you will enjoy it. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. So I've just started my hike with Potra. I'm kitted up to the hilt and Potsa's only wearing slip slops and a little bag and that's the view and looking back that's into second bay, second beach of Port St. John's Here we're coming to our first little stop. What's this beach called? Third Beach. Third Beach. Okay. okay. So you're a lifeguard, huh? Eh? Yeah, I'm a lifeguard. Okay. But it's quiet today, eh? Yeah, it's quiet. And yesterday? Yesterday it's quiet and yesterday it's something. Okay. And sharks? Are there sharks? No sharks. They all in second bay? <laughs> we came over those rocks around that corner and I think the first main hill for the day is going to start. Do we go over that? Or, uh, in between those two high ones, huh? Okay, and then we'll have a rest at the top there. Hello. Hello, Neb. Hello. How are you? Good, good. This is hill number one, day one. I um, mean, it's quite hot, hot and humid. This is quite a steep section. Okay, reaching the top of the first hill. Pretty, pretty naked. Thought I saw a cow up here. I think the cow went through there, away from us. Is it, this is us leaving the the, the nature reserve. Okay, we're getting out. Just now, I've got to get through there with my big bag. Yeah. 
This is hill number two. It looks like a nice hill to climb. Phew. Hill number two is a tough one. Being the last few steps of it. Pizza has been waiting at the top for two hours. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good, that's a good hill, huh? That's a good one. Good and done. Yeah. Good and done. It's on the left of the Indian Ocean. On the right, we have the Railing Hills. Some villages up at the top there, top of those hills. And in the distance, you can see along the coastline where we're going to be going. We'll be down there in a day or two's time, I'm sure. We've just come, we were inland slightly, and now we've just come out around to the coast again. Some beautiful views. We're quite high up right down there. Down here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk around here to the beach for our last break. And then after that, it's the, that, this beach walk and that beach walk, our distance finish is right across there. On the hill there? Yeah, right on the hill there, but we are on the other side of the hill, next to the ocean. Okay, there's like a, there's like a shiny roof there. There's a shiny roof there, yeah. We're going to cross that river there to the other side. Okay. Yeah, these cows have got a nice life, huh? Yeah, they're living on it. It's green like this year round. Year round? Year round, it's all green. Yeah, these cows and they look very healthy, yeah. yeah. That looks like a resort or something on the river, on the river mouth there. Some kids swimming down there. And some boats out there. People on the beach. So where's this, Peter? Mgazi. And is that a hotel there or what? Okay. And where do we cross on the other side? You had to eat animals for protein. Mm. We're just waiting for our ferry to cross the river. We're at the sort of Mgwezi Hotel, Mgwazi River Hotel. Eh? Mgwazi River Hotel. Very pretty. Everybody here has brought their boats and toys. I think this is our ferry, going to take us across. Awesome. We had a, a cheeky little glass of water at the bar. And here we go. Hello?
Thanks, brother. I think this is going to be the view for a little while. Sand. on the beach now for a few minutes but this camber just the slope going down into the ocean oh there's some water definitely can be tiring because my right leg feels shorter than my left leg so my right knee is taking a little bit of strain walking on this camber fun of walking on a beach and normally you turn around and walk back again and work out the other side And is it just behind that that we where we're staying or what? Oh it's right along the beach. But you can't see it from because I don't know but here along the beach. Okay. But in front of those yeah. all those those houses there, yeah? yeah. Yeah, and where are we going? So one more river crossing, eh? Hello. Hello, Wiffy. Yeah, you're looking after the goats. Coming back down to the beach again. I think we're going to do another long beach walk. Looks quite festive here. A lot of kids and families out. Keep on keeping on. This one. It's called pepper plant. Yeah. Must be eaten by a blue bottle or a jellyfish. Just take this, then wrap it. Okay. It also. Okay, so the kids there know about it as well, huh? Blue bottle. Well, I'm about halfway down this beach. I don't know if you can see in the background there where we came from. And still got a way to go. Um, probably around two o'clock in the afternoon, maybe just before two. And it's quite a hot day. I think this is where we get our ferry to cross, second ferry of the day. Just looks like a deep, strong current going along there. It's coming in and it's coming in strong. It's full moon at the moment, so that means lead tide, high tide and low tide, very high and very low. So what river is this? This is Mgazana River. Mgazana River. And this is Mgazana River. And this is where we're spending the night. Okay. Is that the ferry there? We 
gonna go around. Hello ladies. Good, thanks. This is the first shop we've come across. Okay, we're approaching approaching accommodation for the first night. Oh, someone's got a gammy leg. Were you lying on your leg? Is this the place? Hello. I'm not sure which side did they prepare you to stay in. I feel like just put your pen. Oh. It's been a rough day. Um there's a welcoming tea. So there's some bread, there's a thermos flask with boiling water, tea and coffee, so a nice bit of bread. Just squeezed out the leftover nut butter that I had. Uh, and I got my vegan milk powder, I think it's coconut, something very good. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Mm. Oh. Hey boy. This is one of the Haka huts. Where I'm going to be spending the night. So I've got a choice tonight. We've got a choice. <laughs> and those made ones. Perfect. Which one do you see? Look at my feet too. Ah, maybe that big one for the big man. Yeah. <laughs> and there's electricity here. Yeah? yeah, pump water. Okay. can't get in focus here so I'm at the first stop and the sun's still shining so I think it might be a good idea to wash my socks my underpants and maybe my shirt yeah, sun is bright well I've got my socks and undies washed up on the line catching a few last rays um, these are my sock liners I actually didn't wear them for most of the hike the, uh, on the start of the hike uh, there was a river crossing where to take our socks and shoes off and uh, yeah I just never put them back on again but my feet are suffering a little bit so I'm going to make sure <coughs> tomorrow get those sock liners on get the Vaseline look after my feet still been another four days of walking so we're just doing some running repairs on Pitzo's uh, backpack the one straps coming a little bit loose so we've got a little overkill needle and thread bag um, we're going to use a needle but I think this thread's going to be too weak so we've got a little bit of dental floss I think it'll be a lot stronger yeah let's hope so let's hope so no? that it won't break no more it might be stronger than the original is it 
Чего? Жарче. Пицца said his wife taught him how to sew. For when he's not around, or she's not around, he can do his own running repairs. Yeah. So I've made it down to the beach and um, it's about quarter past six just before dinner so I'm quite happy that I came down although it's going to be a little climb up out of there to get back to my room but I'm sure I'll manage Hi, how are you? Are you making? Why you go alone? Hey? Eh? Why you walk alone? Ah. Hmm? Why do I walk alone? Eh, why? That's yeah, very nice, huh? Bracelets. Bracelets, bracelets, shell bracelets, shell bracelets, this one, bottle, necklaces, buy a present for somebody. Yes, yeah. And this is for the glasses, hang your glasses, not to, uh, uh, not to put it not down. Not to fall, okay, very yes. good. Must hang on the chest. Yes, 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 yes. So much are the bracelets? These ones? Yeah. These ones are 50 rand. But the leather? Yes, leather. And the hat made of packets. Packets? Yeah. And yeah. beanies. Beanies. Mm. And the shell bracelets. And the shell necklace. Yeah, maybe I must get it. How much are the shell bracelets? Smaller, no. These ones are 25 rand, these ones are 40 rand. Yeah. The oyster one is 50 rand, oyster shell. Okay, yeah, but I'm not wearing leather. Okay. okay. Oh, this one is for oyster shells. Yes, yeah. Sure. It's a bit big. And yeah. those are the bracelets and the cups. And what's that brown one there? This one? Yes, yeah, sure. The bracelet. So what's it made out of? Wood. Wood. Did you say that again? Seeds. Seeds from our rivers. Okay. Seeds. So you make like uh, beads out of them, eh? Yes. What do you call it? Amatekis. Amatekis? Yes. That's very nice, huh? It's our pro product. Yeah. From yeah. our rivers. Okay. What's your name? Pumza. Pumza? Yes. What are you going to make for me today, eh? Mm. Cabbage. Cabbage and some. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I like Sampa. <laughs> Very nice. And what do you do sometimes when other people are coming and they do eat meat? What do you make? Pap, cabbage, chicken, potatoes, okay. and butternut. Thank you. So this is um, samp, and uh, the samp's been cooked and uh, mixed with potatoes, and the cabbage, which has been chopped up freshly. Um, samp is basically dried uh, corn kernels that have been stamped and crushed but not too fine, so it's still quite coarse. They take quite a long time to cook up. Uh, very nutritious, very healthy, um, and a great vegan dish. And it's a lot, it's a massive portion. <laughs>